Hello and welcome back to Create with Chidex. I'm Chidema and it's lovely to have you here once again. Um, before I continue, I'd like to apologize for the delay in releasing this video. It was due to circumstances beyond my control and I do apologize for that. Anyway, in today's video, I combined two teams, Christmas team and the birthday team. So it was my son's birthday, so I made this cake for his birthday. And um, since it's the Christmas season, I decided to incorporate that into the cake. So I made a gift box cake that was decorated in the style of Christmas. So if you'd like to know how I made this cake, just keep watching till the end and I hope you enjoyed the video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and I would just get on right to the cake. Before starting to make my gift box cake, I'm going to first wrap the gift. My son loves Peppa Pig a lot. So since this gift box cake is for his birthday, I'll be wrapping a Peppa Pig family toy set and using it for this particular cake. To protect the gift folder, I also wrapped the entire present in some cling film. Now that my gift is fully wrapped and properly protected, I'll move on to carving the cake. Ideally, you should use square cakes for this style of cake, but I only had round cakes available so I first carved them into square shapes. In total I used three small round cakes to make the gift box cake. I'm now going to start measuring and cutting out cakes that are about an inch wide so that I can start building them around the gift. I arranged the cake slabs to go around the present just to be sure I had enough to go around and I noticed that there were some gaps so I had to fill them up by cutting additional small pieces from the cake scraps. As you can see all the gaps are filled up so I'm going to now start sticking the cake slabs to the gift using buttercream. I finished taking the cakes on so I'm now leveling them to make sure that they are all level with the gift box. I've leveled my last round cake so now I'm going to cut it at the middle. I'll cut it into two. I would also be cutting the two halves into squares as well just like I did with the previous cakes. I 
I'm using the already cut square cake as a template to cut the other half round. I drew and cut out a template that was 22 by 20 cm and I placed my two square cakes on top of it so that I could carve out cakes that were the same size with the templates. So basically I'm just going to cut the two cakes to size and then I'll use whatever is left to fill up the rest of the template. I'm only doing things this way because I started out with round cakes and then I'm trying to make everything fit in. Well, if you're doing this I suggest you use rectangular or square shaped cakes as it will make things easier. Now that I've completed the rectangular shape, using buttercream I'll stick these cakes on top of the first cake layer and the gift box. And then I'll level the entire cake and trim the sides with the help of my template. I'm going to crumb coat this cake now with buttercream and then I'll put it in the freezer to chill for 20 minutes. My cake is nicely chilled and now I'll be covering it in modeling chocolate. So I'm rolling out the modeling chocolate. Then I'll measure and cut out panels to cover the top and the sides. So I'm going to be making and attaching these panels one after the other and trimming each one down to size as I attach. I've covered all the sides and now I'm rolling out the modeling chocolate for the top. Then I'll measure and cut out the panel for it as well. And place it on top of the cake before trimming off the excess modeling chocolate. As the cake has now been covered with modeling chocolate, I'll paint the entire surface with edible red powder dust. This painting doesn't have to be perfect because it's only going to be the foundation of our edible wafer paper that will be applied on the cake later on. Although, for areas with visible patches, I rubbed some vegetable fat on them to help the dust stick better. After painting the cake, I made a paper template measuring 23 by 20 cm. Then I folded the template into two, placed it on the cake and marked out the height of the cake. Then from that point upwards, I cut a slit. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to use that template to cut out my edible wafer paper. To apply the wafer paper to the cake, I mixed some edible red gel color with water 
and a few drops of glycerin to prevent the paper from tearing. So I'm now applying this mixture to one side of the paper and I'll apply the paper onto the cake like so. After that I painted on more red paint made with edible red gel color and some vodka. I had already covered the other three corners of the box off camera so this was the last corner that I was covering. To make the short wrapping paper fold that goes at the bottom, I cut out a sheet of edible wafer paper measuring 8 by 21 cm. So I'm just painting in my glycerin water and red color mixture on one side. Then I'll fold it in like so and set it aside and set it aside while I make the larger fold that goes at the top of the cake. The larger wrapping paper fold was made following the same process but the size of the edible paper was 19 by 21 cm and after painting on the glycerin mixture I folded it in at the 8 cm mark. To apply the folds to the cake I dampened the painted side of the folds with my glycerin water and red color mixture. Then I applied it to the bottom of the cake like so before working on the top fold. I applied the top fold following the same process that I followed for the bottom one. I folded this top fold up to the halfway mark of the cake and then I used the scissors to cut off the excess. Now that the two folds were attached, I painted my vodka and red paint mixture on the outer surface of both folds. After painting, I went on to make folds for the other side of the box. I'm now going to make my wafer paper glue by shredding some wafer paper, mixing it with water and then microwaving this mixture for 5 seconds before setting it aside. I also prepared the edible wafer paper for the pine leaves by painting both sides of the paper with a mixture of vodka, edible green gel color and glycerin before setting the paper aside to dry. While waiting for the green paper to dry, I prepared the edible wafer paper for my ribbons. So I did this by rubbing a little vegetable fat to one side of the wafer paper. Then I used my palms to paint on some edible metallic gold dust onto the wafer paper. After painting on one side of the paper, I used my ruler to cut out thin strips from the paper. And to apply these ribbon strips to the cake, I painted a mixture of gold dust and vodka on the unpainted side of the strip, then stuck it down from the bottom part of the cake up to the halfway point of the cake. So I made a total of four ribbon strips and applied them at the center of each of the cake sides. The green edible wafer paper is now completely dry, so I'm going to cut it into strips. Then using a the scissors, I'll cut the strips into needle-like strips from the side, ensuring that I don't cut it right up to the end. So this is what it looks like. To wrap the leaves, I cut a florist wire into two, folded it a little at the top, coated it with the edible wafer paper glue that I prepared earlier. Then I dampened the uncut side of the leaves with vodka before wrapping the leaves around the florist wire like so. For the berries, I colored some modeling chocolate with red and yellow edible gel colors. Then I rolled out some tiny balls of the chocolate and passed them through florist wires that are already folded at the top. I made a number of these berries, then I attached them together in groups using some florist tape. Finally, I arranged the berries and the pine leaves together, securing them with florist tape. When the pine decoration was ready, I folded the end of the branch a bit and then inserted that point into the cake. 
For the bows, I painted the unpainted part of one of the ribbons that I made earlier with some vodka and edible metallic gold dust. Then I folded in the edges like so and then pinched it at the center. Next, I cut and painted a shorter strip and then attached it to the middle of the bow. Next, I cut one of the gold strips diagonally like so, then painted it with the edible gold and vodka mixture, placed it on the cake like so, before placing the bow on top of it. Next, I cut out a sheet of edible wafer paper, wrote the word Louis on it using edible black gel color and vodka. Then I placed it on top of the cake. Finally, I cut some strips of edible wafer paper dampened the board and the papers with some water and then folded and arranged them around the board. And there you have it. Our gift box cake is done. And just look at how beautiful it is. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Louis, blow it! <laughs> He's trying, isn't he? Louis, you can do it! Emma, Emma, Emma okay. blow, 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 Louis! Good boy. Emma. Yay! Now, just like I do with my other cakes, I'm going to cut this cake. I've now come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as this is my last video for the year, I'll see you next year. Bye.